save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today. As always, hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. So today we're going to continue our series. We did some archery in the last episode and I wasted like pretty much all of my bows. I only have four bows now, so we do need to try to find some some more bows. Um, and oh yeah, we're, we're on the quest to find the giant horse. Which should be right up to the north a little bit. So I think we're going to jump down to Cookie. But before we jump down to Cookie, I kind of want to see what's on top of that. Uh, what is that? A butte? Or plateau? Butte? I don't know what that's called. Let's see. We might be able to bomb blast over there. If I'm a little bit lucky. <laughs> I guess we're lucky. Sorry, Wolfling. I think he'll just teleport right back over here, though. Yep. <laughs> Alright, there's got to be a Korok or something up here, right? Nothing? Really? Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh, uh, uh, it's like a, a sand-based one. Ooh, this is, this is good. Well, GG. A stone talus. Uh, I forget what I'm doing for stone talus. I th think it's the shield. Is it the shield symbol I'm using for stone talus? No, it's the gem. But I also use the gem for the great fairy fountains. Eh. Whatever, I guess I'll, I'll use a gem as well, because I pretty much know where the Great Fairy Fountains are, so... It, oops, that's not where I am. Here I am. If I put a gem somewhere that's not a Great Fairy Fountain, I'm, I, I'm gonna know it's, it's, a, it's a stone talus. Look at all the ore! Amber, amber, opal, opal, amber, topaz, amber, opal, amber, flint, topaz, amber, amber, topaz. Wow. Well, it's definitely worth coming up here. Oh, look at the dragon, guys. Oh, that's so cool. He's going underneath the bridge. All right. Here we go. Let's head right on down. Easy does it. Oh, while we're here... It seems Cookie is unable to come. Why not? What? That's weird that Cookie can't come, but let's summon Mifa Amiibo and see if we can get the Varuda helmet. It's the only one I need is Varuda's helmet. Come on, baby. Yes! We got it! A treasure gifted to the one who controls Divide Beast Varuta. It endows its user with enhanced abilities. I think the enhanced abilities refer to the fact that it uh, has swim speed up and you can see the enemy's uh, health. So let's put it on with the rest of the ancient armor. Wow, that's crazy, right? I guess we can use it for a little bit. So with the ancient set, I have uh, level 2 ancient uh, guardian resist and then the swim speed, which is kind of random. But Cookie, why can't you come? Alright, you know what? Let's just go... Let's just go get Cookie. Something's wrong with Cookie. We need to go find out. Why is Cookie stuck over here? Wait a minute. The Golden Lionel respawned or this is another one? This is a different one. Wow. So there's another Lionel up here with... I didn't even know that. 
All right, well, I guess we're fighting another Lionel first. I do like to ride into battle on my horse. Maybe I should get Cookie first. I do need another bow, too. All right, we're going to kill this Lionel real quick. In fact, I should probably... Do I even have any ancient weapons that make it worthwhile to use the full set? Not really. So instead, we're going to use this full set. I would love to use the Fierce Deity set, but I need the helmet. Actually, let's see, which which one of these amiibos is for the Fierce Deity set? Instead of doing all of the amiibos, I'm going to just try to do the one that, that I think will give me the mask. The Fierce Deity mask. I think... It's this amiibo. The roof protection is now ready to roll. Does he see me? I don't really want to fight him quite yet. If he sees me. Ah, whatever. If we have to fight him, we have to fight him. Ooh, that's actually a really good weapon. Uh, Seventy-two damage. I can't just leave that on the ground. Um, actually, I might have to. I don't want to drop anything. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave it. Actually, I don't need two big Goron swords. Let's just drop that one. This one's got the extra stamina or extra durability, so I'll take this. Whatever. All right, Wolf Link, I guess we're going to we're gonna fight this guy, so yeah. Let's use the Master Sword. Actually, I mean, we have all these weapons. We might as well use them, right? The, the Ice Sword and the Flame Sword do such low damage. They don't really work well on the uh, Lionels either because the Lionels don't even catch fire or freeze. So, but, but they do work well on the other enemies, I guess. Hey, big boy. Here we go. Another golden lino fight. I don't remember fighting one with a pole arm in a long time. I think we did like one of the first ones, but oh wow, my master sword's already gonna break. Fierce Deity, let's go. Actually, while we're doing this, I want to. Do even more attack power. So let's do uh, let's do one of these level three attack boosts. Now we're gonna get some real damage. Switch back to the master sword. Master sword broke. Okay, going to the royal broadsword now. Guess we'll just stay with this. Try not to use my bow too much, but every now and then it's gonna have to be a, a thing. Got him. Here's Tidy Sword. I had to use Darup there. Unfortunate, but worth. You know what? We might just end up having to use these uh, Frostblade and Flame Blade stuff. What you got? What you got? Oh, Darup is gone. Oh, got him right in the charge. Alright, I don't like my back being up 
on this corner right here. Alright, run away. Please don't do that. Get wrecked. That doesn't really hurt me. Yeah. He might die right here. Yep. No, he, he like kicked me off. Goodbye. That level three attack up really helped kill him fast. I should have done that on the last one. All right, well, we got the Savage Lionel Spear. It does 40 attacks, so that's awesome. Uh, but more importantly, we got the diamond, the Lionel part, shock arrows, more shock arrows, 20 shock arrows, more guts, and come on, BF times five. Oh, but it's 50 damage, 50 times three. Wow, that's really good. So that's what I really wanted, to be honest, was the bow. All right, all that just to find Cookie. Let's go get Cookie. And now, I'm sorry about Wolf Link dying, but it is what it is. Um, we don't need to wear this armor anymore. Let's just do something. Something a little more stylish, I guess. I like wearing the Fierce Diety set. It just looks really good. Um, and then for the helmet... Mm, how about just the earrings? There we go. I like the simple and clean looks myself. Cookie, can you come now? I see, Cookie! You're just staring at the cliff! Why can't you come? Oh my gosh. Cookie, you are so lazy. Wolf Link died because we had to come back and get you. Why? Is he like stuck in the... Or something like that's so weird. I swear to God, Cookie, you better be glitched or I'm gonna be mad. Why can't you come? You are not a good horse, but I still love you. Maybe she was just mad or hungry, I don't know. So anyways, let's go to the north and hunt for the giant horse. Now that we took out both golden lionels in the area. Good to know there's two over here. And now the wolves are already out picking the remains of the golden lionel. Clean. You guys can have whatever's left. Don't tell me there's a third golden lionel up here. I, don't, I, I do enjoy fighting them. But I always get sidetracked and end up just fighting them most of the time, and I want to actually make some progress today. Wow, these trees are crazy. Oh my goodness, it just started raining really hard at my house, so... If you hear noises, it's like torrents of rain. Wait a minute. That's it! We found it! Look, it's Pumpkin! We found Pumpkin. All right, this is gonna take a stealth approach. We're gonna go like this. Mm. Okay, that doesn't look very good. You know what looks good with this armor is Minda's helm. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a stealth approach right behind this tree first. Let's climb up. Now, this, according to legend, is Ganondorf's horse. Hence why I'm using Ganondorf's armor, other than Minna's helmet. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna attempt to land. Now, I've always called this horse Pumpkin because when my kids were playing through this game, we found this horse and we named this horse Pumpkin. Mostly because of the orange hair reminds me of Halloween. Sooth, sooth, sooth. Come on, baby. We got him! Oh my goodness, you are a large animal. That's right, that's right. Alright, you know what? I know you, you, you just went through a traumatizing experience, so here you go. Welcome to the family pumpkin. 
Can we get some pumpkin emojis in the chat for pumpkin? We gotta bring pumpkin back to that guy to turn in the quest. And then we also have to, uh... Actually bring pumpkin to a stables. So that we can register pumpkin and... That way we can, uh, use... Use him whenever we want. Sorry guys, I'm taking your leader. Uh, one of, you're gonna have to vote amongst yourselves to nominate a new leader, because Pumpkin is now part of the Sword Army. Alright, Pumpkin, let's go back. We gotta go back the way we came. Yep. Unfortunately, uh, Pumpkin is so big that he can't gallop, like, with the spurs, like, like Cookie can with the, to make him go faster. He just has one speed, and that's that's the speed that I'm going. He, he can't go any faster, but it's it's a nice speed still. Nice kind of a autopilot speed. Man, so if you wanted to to do this quest before, like obviously at this point in the game, I'm really really good. Like I have really good weapons, really good armor. But if we did this earlier on in the game, I imagine this would have been really difficult because of the the Lionels, you know what I mean? At this point, we got Lionels on farm status. Come on, Pumpkin. Come on, baby. Pumpkin not happy. Oh man, I didn't even realize I didn't have Amifa's Grace when I was fighting that Lionel, but... I don't think that Lionel actually even touched us once. Oh no, he did, but Daruk's protection, yeah. I'm just soothing, like, constantly, to, because Pumpkin doesn't seem very happy. Alright, we're getting close, so I'm gonna have to swing a left turn up here. After this, I think we're gonna go shrine hunting. And then, uh... I don't know, like, I'm getting pretty close to the point where I just want to go storm the castle. And uh, now that we have all four Divine Beasts and whatnot... Yeah, I'm not even going to fight the Poe. I don't, I don't care about that. Uh, because I want to do the castle, then I want to do the DLC. Really, guys? You don't want to fight this. I am the king of horses. Don't even try. Don't even try. Whoa, 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 whoa! We are going way off course, Pumpkin. I trusted your autopilot. This is not what I wanted. We gotta go this way. At least, at least Pumpkin didn't, like, come to a full-on stop. That would have been annoying. There's gotta be something in that forest. Hey, buddy. I'm back. I got the giant horse. Oh! Yeah. That horse! It's huge! I've never seen one that big! That is definitely an endemic species! Sorry, but can I take a good look at that horse? I mean, aren't you already? Thanks, I'll be right back. Mm hmm. This is impressive. Ooh. Ah, hmm, quite interesting. What are you doing to the horse? Wow, with this much info, I can feel my spirit for discovery murmuring in contentment. It's definitely different seeing something with your own eyes rather than just reading about it. Thank you. Ooh. This is the thank you for helping with the investigation. Wow. 100 rupees, that's what you give me? To think that there's actually a horse that's big out there. How surprising. I mean, I guess. Alright, let's bring it to the stables. Uh, which should be... Just follow this road. Because Pumpkin deserves a good home, right? We're going to put a saddle on this wild giant horse and make it domesticated, you know what I mean? <laughs> then we can breed more giant wild horses. Actually, I don't know, man. This this horse right here, this horse right here probably would not breed well with the other horses because it's just so much bigger. But All right, we got to follow this path and it should bring us to the stables. I don't know what's wrong with Cookie to, to where Cookie couldn't come, but I, I got a feeling Pumpkin will be much happier once we bring him to the stable. To be honest, though, I'm probably going to keep uh, using Cookie just because he's faster, but 
We're, we're, we're using this guy because... Oh, look at this. This is where I found Cookie. It was right here where we got Cookie for the first time. You guys remember that? Only the OG Breath of the Wild playthrough people will remember when we got Cookie here. That's Cookie's family right there. And now Pumpkin can play with Cookie's family. We're going to leave Pumpkin in my favorite stable right here. Hey guys, I found a new horse. Aww. Looks like you've caught yourself a new steed. Want to register it? Yes, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Five strength, two speed, zero stamina. It's like unaffected, wild temperament. I'm already at a 96% bond. It's not a problem. We charge registration. He doesn't even, he's not even surprised that I found a horse this big. Oh, a name? Um, obviously. Pumpkin. Ah. I found Pumpkin. Yep, let's uh -huh. take Pumpkin out just so we can see what the... Oh, look at Pumpkin's saddle! Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Pumpkin, you are looking really good. Thank you for allowing me to ride on your back all the way back to the stable. There's some apples for your stomach. I know a horse that size has got to eat. Hey, Beetle, do you have any yeah. arrows? Wow! Yes, you can have the beetle for the vegetable omelet. Okay. Thank you. Yes, he has arrows. Thank you. I literally used all of my arrows on that stupid archery contest. No, that's all I wanted. Alright, cool. So, now that we're done with that, I want to go shrine hunting. Let's see where we haven't been. I do want to... Um, I'm trying to remember. I want to go back to the ancient uh, shop or whatever. Yes. The ancient tech lab. Let's see if we can go buy an ancient bow. We definitely have enough money. The question is, do we have enough uh, spare parts? That I don't know. I'm also going to summon one more amiibo. This is the Sheik amiibo. And I'm doing it because there's a chance to that you'll get the Sheik uh, mask. Which is another thing we don't have. I see. Nope. Alright, we tried. Alright, let's see what we can buy here. Hello, Zer. So, I already have 14 ancient arrows. Let's see. Uh, do you know why I don't have a lot of ancient cores and stuff? Is because... Oh, I can easily build this. It's because... I upgraded my ancient armor a lot. That's a nice bow. Um... Ooh, that takes two. Ancient sword looks cool. I guess, uh, I don't remember what it takes to upgrade my ancient armor to level 4, but it's already really good. I don't really even need it level 4. Mm. Should we get another ancient blade saw? Yeah, might as well. Oh, no room in my inventory. Um, yeah, I don't need the fire sword. I already have a fire spear. Let's get the ancient blade saw, because I want a weapon that does a lot of damage that's an ancient weapon. That way when I'm doing the uh, full ancient set, it's actually like got a bonus, you know what I mean? Alright, so let's equip the ancient bow. Oh, look how cool that looks, guys. I love how the, uh, the string is literally a glowing blue line. That looks so awesome. You see how it folds up like that? So cool. And then, of course, we've already seen the ancient blade, so I've used it in the past, but... Bzzz, just been so cool. Alright. 
That's all I wanted from here. Now I'm gonna warp to... I think we're gonna go to Death Mountain. I wanna see if we can find Dinral, the, uh, the flame dragon, because... We've only seen him once, and I know I'm gonna need some scales. So... And possibly we're gonna find a shrine while we're looking for him. All right, I don't want to burn alive, so let's equip this. That's not enough. I'm still going to burn alive. All right. Um, then in that case, about the pants. All right, that looks really dumb. Um, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, that, that actually looks kind of cool. I got the ancient armor and helmet and the, the, the Goron Greaves. All right, so I actually need to go north. Oh, boy. This, this is very bad. You would think the, the air would be rising from the heat and I would actually be going up right here, not down, but... Oh well. Wanna take a look at the uh, Divine Beast back there? There he is. So I need to go north over this mountain and... Ooh, can I even get up here? Didn't realize it was this tall. And then we're gonna fly down. There he is! That's the dragon I wanted to try to find. Alright. Let's fly all the way down here. This area... Oh wait, I need to go more north. I'm gonna go up... Yes. North. Give me some speed. I don't know if that was really that much speed, but I guess we could try again. Definitely not not much speed that time. Let's just fall down. I see some luminous stones over there. Might as well go get them, right? I haven't been to Death Mountain in quite a while, so... Probably it's been a blood moon since the last time I was here, which means all of the ore has respawned. Uh, what should I use to break the rocks? I guess the edge of duality will work. Oh, my other two-handed weapons are stronger. Alright. Now, from here... I'm gonna make sure I'm searching for shrines. Okay, cool. We're just gonna. Oops, oops, didn't mean to hop off that. We're gonna. We're gonna try to attempt a bomb launch here. Whee! Ooh, that's one of the uh, Goliath bones down there. Let's go check that out. more luminous stones. So far we're not finding any shrines, but that's okay. We found a Korok and a bunch of ore. You're dead. Wait a minute, you're still alive? I thought I killed them all. Whoops. Alright, now they're all dead. Let's grab the luminous stones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, now let's get the Korok. Wow, one of them got way up here. Alright, we need to put this one... No, Denrel, come back to us! He must just be leaving. No, not right there. I didn't actually take a look at this too, too well. How about up here? No? How about in here? No?
I'm not really sure where it goes. It's gotta be one of these spots. Watch it be right in the middle, and I just gotta get it in there. Yep. Alright. Thank you, thank you. I saw something, oh yeah. Ooh, a rich ore over here. While we're here, we should probably go sell our gems to the, uh, the Gerudo lady. Wow, there's even more. More of these guys. Ow, that actually reached me. No, the amber fell off. Oh well. <laughs> One of the best things about the ancient bow is how far it shoots. It shoots, like, almost perfectly straight. Uh, we're actually gonna save it. There's gotta be something up here, because this is just, like, too nice of a pathway to be leading to nothing, so... Wow, look at all this ore. I'm gonna bet there's a shrine somewhere up here. Oh, we're actually running... Already to 30 minutes on this episode. Time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Another Korok. Wow, see, there's a lot of stuff over here. And there's absolutely no reason to come over here. Like, no quests or, like, let's take a look where we are. So, you can see. I haven't been anywhere around here. We're at El Elaine's flank. And we're just going to keep exploring around here. Dinral, the dragon, usually flies around these parts. And he'll probably come back eventually, so... No fire, no no no, that that that's not allowed. Oh, I guess I needed a shield. No! Oh. I thought I would turn the fire keys into ice, but I guess that's only works on the chew jelly. Let's explore a little bit further up, and then we're probably getting close to the end of the episode. Did I just hear another lino? I thought I heard a roar, but I'm not sure. I hear something. I don't know if it's a lino or moblin. What is going on over here? Hmm. We might be able to uh, push one of these guys off the cliff. First, let's take out the uh, the flame boys. We're gonna have to just do a lot of damage to these guys. There's one. Oh, he finally hit me. Oh, he just one shot me. Is that how you want to play? I didn't actually uh, think he was going to hit me. No. The roof protection is now ready to roll. How dare you do that? Huh? 
I could push him off the cliff, but then we wouldn't get his loot, so that's kind of why I'm not doing that. Um, yeah, I don't really need the flame spear either. Dance. Wow, this guy has a lot of health. Let's just get through it. Gotta eat that health up. See, I like being able to see the health with this uh, helmet. Goodbye. And there's a golden chest. I mean, look at all this ore. We are rich. What were they fighting over? 300 rupees. All right. See, guys? It always pays... To explore and we're gonna keep exploring that looks interesting we're gonna keep exploring in the next episode I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please drop a like and be sure to subscribe for more Wow we have a lot of gems look at that 125 amber Wow all right yeah we definitely need to go sell that Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.